welcome to another video here on my channel. My name is Annette and in today's video I'm going to be doing a little makeup tutorial on how to get this pink witch makeup look here. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. Right, so we're going to get right into the makeup part of this video. I did already do my foundation, concealer, powder, and brows. I kind of already primed my lids. But I am going to be taking some more concealer because I wanted to cut out a winged eye. And then we're going to apply shadow on top. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me. Applying it to my eye like so. And I'm going to be kind of making um, a wing kind of with it as I apply it. Kind of like that. And then I'm just going to define that with my brush, just a flat concealer brush. Like so. And then wing that out sharply like that. You guys can see. And then, because we just want um, a base to apply the shadow, and we also want the shape as well. So this, putting concealer before you put the shadow just helps the shadow cling a little bit better. Now that we did our concealer, I'm going to be going in with a white base to start. And I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. I'm going to be using... This white shade right here. I'm taking a flat brush and just applying that white base to where we use the concealer. To where we use the concealer to carve out our shade. And this is basically just gonna set that cream color, set that cream for us. Now you can like better see the shape now that you're applying the white. Alright, so this is how it looks so far. And then now we're going to go in with the pink color. And I'm going to be using this hot pink color right here. And I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush for this part like this. And now I'm just going to be applying the pink. And the white base and the concealer is just going to help the pink, um, the hot pink color pop a little more. Just kind of blend it with the fluffy brush. And then we can, I'll blend it in the middle with the fluffy brush. And then to define it, the outer corner so we can keep it clean, I'm going to take a flattened brush. Now I'm taking a tinier, more defined, tiny brush so I can get these edges outlined perfectly, basically. As perfect as we can so we don't have to clean it up. That's why it's important to make your shape first so you kind of have like a line to follow and stay in between. Especially that wing. I'm gonna get that wing as sharp as you can. For some shimmer, I'm gonna be going in with Kylie Jenner's You're So Money Baby palette. And I'm going to be using this hot pink sparkly shade right here. Just take that same fluffy brush you used and just apply that shimmer on top. Just to add a little, you know, something. I think I'm going to add some glitter too because I don't think there's going to be enough. Right, so I feel like the shimmer is not enough, so I'm going to add some glitter. I'm going to be using this NYX Pink Glitter, and this is in the shade Beauty Beam. And I'm also going to be using the NYX Glitter Primer to apply that. 
So I'm just going to apply the glitter primer on the back of my hand a little bit. I'm just going to apply it on the brush a little bit and then dip it into that glitter I put right here. And just tap it on the eyelid. We don't want like, I don't want too much glitter. I kind of just want it like, you know. I just wanted to give it some a little bit of shine to it. I wish I had hot pink glitter, but I only have this like baby pink glitter. But honestly, it looks pretty cute. I like it. Now I'm going to take a little makeup wipe and I'm going to clean up the edge of this so we can just make it, you know, nice and defined. Okay, so now that we've defined the eye, we're going to be adding some gemstones. I'm going to be adding these hot pink ones right here. And I'm also going to be adding these baby pink ones right here. I got both of these little gems from Michaels. And I feel like what best applies is these little gemstones is eyelash glue. So I'm going to be using the Duo eyelash glue to apply them. Gemstones are a little bit annoying to apply, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so what I do is I just apply the glue on the back of the rhinestone and then, you know, I just go in with my finger like this. The best that I can do. Alright, now I'm going to be applying the baby pink stone. And this one I'm going to be applying right next to that one. Like that. And I'm just going to continue these steps along the eye here. It is going to take a while and patience, but, but the end will result will look very poppin', very glittery, very gem, very pink witch vibes. So it will be worth it. Oh, 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 oh. gemstones I'm going to be adding to the eyes how it looks like so far and now I'm going to be lining my eyelid with my Revlon Colorstay Skinny Black Liner. I'm just going to be doing a little line not a wing just to kind of hide my lash band because I am going to be applying false lashes so I'm just going to do a little line here. All right so this is the finished eye look. This is how it looks like. What do you guys think? I'm going to be taking the Coco Contour Kit and I'm going to be taking the white brightening shade in here. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to be brightening my under eyes with this. Like so. This really makes a difference. Every time. So for the blush part, we are going to be going in with the same pink shade we use for our eyelids, which is this one right here. I'm just going to take a fluffy blush brush and dip right in to that color. And just apply that to the cheeks like so. And it's going to look very dramatic, but that's okay because, you know, we're a pink witch. Now I'm just going to take my beauty blender and kind of blend that color in. I'm also going to take this brush with a little bit of powder and kind of clean that up in the inner part of the face. And I'm also going to take powder as well, like this, dip it in with this brush, an angled brush, the contour and blush. Like so. Magnify my face a little bit more. All right, and then I'm going to take my setting spray and set my face makeup like so. And I'm just going to blend everything in with the Beauty Blender like this. For highlight, I'm just going to be using MAC's Soft and Gentle 
highlight. I'm gonna take just a little highlight brush and highlight those cheekbones. And also highlight my nose a little bit, above my lip, maybe a little bit on my forehead. Also, I'm gonna be taking some glitter and putting that on my cheekbones as well. And I'm using the same brush that we use for eyes to apply the glitter. Just kind of move it around like that, like on top of the highlight. All right, so for the lips, I'm gonna be taking the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Soft Spoken. I'm gonna be outlining my lips with this. Like so. I like this color because I'm going to be going with the hot pink, so I like to use a, a darker shade if I'm going to go in with like a brighter or light shade to outline the lips. Just so you can have like some more dimension. Right, and for the lipstick, I'm going to be use Kylie Jenner's um, or Kylie Cosmetics um, lipstick in Mama Boss. This is how it looks like. It's a very hot pink color. I never wear this lipstick because, like, I'm not really one to wear hot pink lipstick, but, you know, for the look. For the look. For the pink witch look. I will. Really hot pink. Whoa. Hello, hot pink. For lip gloss, I'm going to be using the bup... <sighs> Oh my gosh, I cannot talk, dude. Mercury Retrograde? For lip gloss, I'm gonna be using the Buxom Lip Plumping Gloss in Mudslide. I love these glosses. They're like my favorite lip plumping glosses. Eight. so I think this is the finished makeup look, you guys, for the pink which now I give you guys the full effect of the outfit and the hat and the makeup all together so stay tuned for that at the end all right you guys so this is the finished look I'm back up so you guys can see my outfit I'm just wearing this hot pink satin dress with this shirt under and I'm also wearing some white fishnet thigh highs and yeah, to top off the look, I would just pair it with some cute laced up black boots. Yeah, you'd be ready to go for your pink witch Halloween look. And this will be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And comment what you guys thought. And if you tried out this look, let me know. And yeah, subscribe if you guys want to see any more videos from me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.